Hey Stank, it's Season Love, S-E-N-L-U-V, that's who I be. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome to another episode of the Money Healing Monologues. Over here at the Money Healing Monologues, I'd like to open up a space to speak about black wealth, health, and excellence. So join me every single Monday to dissect, I want to say dissect different topics. Um that i just feel like as a black community we should pay attention to so this week's episode for episode five we are speaking about hold on give me a minute baby for episode five we are talking about the common misconception of hustle culture as you know i like to break this down in who what where when and why format So we're just going to go down the line and we're going to dissect this topic for us. We're going to open up a conversation. Please comment down below if you have any opinions, comments, concerns. I would love to speak to you. I'd love to, you know, have a conversation with you. I reply back to all of my comments. So and DMs. So, well, most of my DMs. But, well, before we get into the who, let's talk about what hustle culture is. I feel like, um... This common misconception that we have to work to live has really affected the black community, black community specifically, the low income um, community, poverty districts, I would say. This stigma, this social construct, I feel like that, you know, capitalism has set on all of us for us to have to work so much, work to live. You know, we have to get up every single day and get money so that we can get the things that we need and we want there's apparently no way around that and i think that has grown such a toxic toxic mindset of just overworking the lower class you know what i mean i feel like a lot of us deal with mental health issues because of this developing more on the who you know minorities the low income communities where you know the conditions aren't the best so they have to work harder to even afford that and to save up for better because there is no one funding the renovation of these poverty districts and low-income communities so it's kind of like a literally a trap i feel i see it as a you know like a bird cage or a rat's cage um, kind of keeping them in this same place and in the same cycle. You know what I'm saying? And that's getting me into the what. What does it do to us? It brainwashes us. It makes us think that we have to work to live. It makes us think that we have to, you know, overwork ourselves to the bone to have the very things that keep us alive, like food, water, and shelter. That's real wealth. That's preserving real generational wealth. Food, water, and shelter. Breathable air. Like, fertile land. I think what this does is takes the power away from ourselves and puts it in, you know, puts our worth in money. You know what I mean? It helps us put our worth in the materialistic gain of money because the context of materialism are things that we need and they made it that way on purpose they did that for a reason and to manipulate us so i wonder how that truly truly genuinely affects our mental health you know what i mean like i think being in your ego and being brainwashed and not really asking questions and not being curious is provoked like they want that they want to keep us you know keep our minds like narrow and and small-minded so that we don't think outside the box and realize that the lives that we're living aren't actually the lives that we're supposed to be living it's all a game i feel like to the people that have the quote-unquote power and i think that we've given them this power by the collective belief of tying money to our worth getting into the where Where do we see this manipulation happen the most? I said the workforce, um, 
in poverty just the way that the poverty districts are set up it's like a cage i feel like in the districts they have the common things like they have a school they got a hospital you know the church you know common things that each district needs but for poverty districts specifically they have things like check cashing places they have things like um um you know fast food checkers mcdonald's you know what i'm saying they don't hesitate to put those things over there the grocery stores you know their shipments aren't the best of the best you know what i mean and like it really is all intentional you know the way that the communities are set up is very intentional is very intentional in keeping us complacent in the system that they have taught us that we needed you follow me and then with the workforce same thing the environment you know what i'm saying like it even it even goes back to i would even say school also you see that in you know just this basic structure of sit up straight you know you're in class you're in front of a desk you're you know you have to focus on this one thing and and did it all did it all you know what i mean this toxic as working mindset that they have kind of instilled in our brains since we were young is so detrimental to our growth as a community in my opinion truthfully you know what i'm saying we have all been brainwashed and it's time for us to accept that and start healing from it and becoming our own entities when i heard when did this start when did this become a thing the industrial revolution i feel like the industrial revolution was really i feel like a catalyst for capitalism manufacturing and all these big 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 corporations to really play a part in how to keep their workers working you know what i'm saying because that's what they need they need to keep us working they need to keep us up and going they need to keep making uh uh materialistic things valuable to us and the way that they keep it valuable to us the the way that they keep materialistic shit valuable to us is by making the very necessities that we need into that so now we have to pay money in order to get all of these things so that we can stray away from being self-sustainable and where do we see that look at the environment know what i'm saying like i saw a tiktok one time that's saying that uh, from from a foreigner that came to the u.s and she was talking about like it's really weird how she doesn't see no fruit trees anywhere in like the cities there's no fruit trees anywhere and i've read about that before how they only plant male trees you know in the cities and stuff like that and just like everywhere so that people can and so that people have to go and buy from you know the grocery store and you see how the very things like fruit are literally taken and capitalized on like bro we should be able to grow fruit wherever we want we should all be able to have community gardens in every single district so that god forbid if shipments cannot come from these farmers markets that they control we can still have fucking fruits and vegetables for us to eat it's all a game and i just feel like this is the this hustle culture this is exactly how they keep us manipulated got us thinking that we need to work to live but the only reason we feel like we need to work to live is because we have to pay for basic necessities but my thing is what if we all stop paying for that shit and i'm not sitting here and saying that money is bad i'm not sitting here and saying that because i'm a money healer that's my that's my point that's the point of the money healing monologues that's the point of us sit here and doing this is to reiterate all of these things for us so now the question that i want to ask us is how much does material gain really mean to us when we start speaking about and putting self-sufficiency into the equation because once we start talking about self-sufficiency and everybody realizes that they can actually do all of these things by themselves they can grow their own food you know what i'm saying you can make your own business so that you can have revenue to your own shit you know what i'm saying like you can build your own teams so that you guys can be self-sustainable together what does material gain really mean for you then that's the question that i want you guys to answer and last but certainly not least getting into the why why should we focus on hustle culture why should we dissect hustle culture because we deserve rest 
black people deserve rest our ancestors are tired we are tired i'm weak they are so fucking tired we're tired like oh my goodness black sh- black i feel like in my opinion black people should have like at least a decade off from the workforce like y'all want to uphold capitalism so 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 bad okay let them do it for a while we are tired black people can become their own entities and work from their own homes build our own gardens in our own communities and support each other because that's the black culture that's that's our way what the fuck true shit like what really are the what are our answers let's start making our answers as a community and actually start doing shit that ass on that note thank you so much for tuning in to the money healing monologues this monday i appreciate you for listening to me and taking in my words i genuinely 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 hope you feel called to comment down below and tell me what you think you know what i'm saying i want to open up a conversation i want to start talking about things like this you know what i'm saying i live in nyc so if you're ever in nyc or you live in nyc i'm outside i throw events every month and i have money healing services and resources up on my blog i also help creators create with the clubhouse as a spiritual lifestyle coach so you can go to seasonlove.org and check out more about me and learn how i can help you because i love you and i want to see us grow i want to see us strive i want to see us get more i want to see us be more genuinely i have a passion for the people and for us to really become self-sustainable and start doing this shit for ourselves and living for ourselves because we deserve happiness we deserve peace and we deserve prosperity so if you fuck with all of this if you fuck with my words if you fuck with my being if you fuck with my energy then please like this share this send it to your mama send it to your papa send it to your granny i don't know let them know that we are here we're alive and we are ready to start making change and that starts with opening up a conversation so i love you and i will see you next week peace